What's up, boys? This is No Money Spent Episode 7. And let's just say this episode is absolutely wild. We make some huge upgrades and we made like 500K in 15 minutes. Not even like clickbait or anything. We literally made like 500,000 coins in 15 minutes doing this method. So I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to smash the like button and subscribe. What's up, boys? Welcome to No Money Spent Episode 7. And I'm going to start off with just my team update and, you know, just an update on the account before I get into all the clips of what we've done the past few days. And first of all, I just want to show you the team. So this is the team, the auctionable players, my right tackle. This is just as an investment. My both my right guards, um, Zion Johnson is my uh, right guard, but I'm putting him at left guard. I'm going to put the new center, probably a left guard and use the post up on him and uh, sell Zion Johnson or Logan Bruss. Obviously Donald Parham's a beast. Hunter Henry is brand new, unless you guys watched my last video. Same with Corey Davis. Um, we get CD Lamb and he is a tank. Make sure you guys stay and watch the clip that I hit with him. It's disgusting. Like it might be the best clip ever. Like I am him with CD Lamb on kick returns. We got Devin Singletary, who's actually been really good, surprisingly. We also pick up Trevor Lawrence in this video. And, uh, you know, I think this is a little bit of a, a pre. Like, we just played uh, our much Champs games with Javon Holland because we sold our Dax Hill because we're going to be picking up that new 89 Javon Holland. Uh, other than that, we got Eric Rowe, and that's pretty much it. Everything else is relatively the same. Actually, we did get rid of um, our Demarcus Lawrence. We finally sold him, and we are using DeForest Buckner for now. Uh, who's actually pretty solid. Like, I don't really see too much of a difference. I hope you guys... Oh, also one last thing. I just wanted to go over my offense and uh, defensive playbook. So I, on offense, I use the Lions playbook. And I've actually been having a lot more success with this. And on defense, I got rid of the looping blitz. I don't want to use it anymore because it's going to get nerfed. And I think other defenses are just as good, if not... Uh, you know, they, they can do the job. So I'm going back to the Patriots defensive playbook, which I think is really solid. I like the formations in it. All right, boys, we are doing the strategy item method right now. Let's see if this works. I've been told by many people it's good, but a lot of people have also lost. So we're just going to try it out and see what it does. Hopefully we don't lose more coins on this, but we did try this once already. I lost a lot on strategy. We pulled a blue one. Well, we already pulled a blue one because, and it's dolphins. We'll take that. <laughs> the Plat Elite Bundle. Oh, purple. Oh my God. Oh my god, bro! <laughs> oh, let's go, baby! Pull the green and blue in my first two rolls, that's nuts. Sometimes though, well, the thing is with this one, is you want to pull out when you can sometimes. Like, after I pulled that purple one, I probably should have just pulled out. But, but we're trying, we're going all the way down to 13, 13, uh, 1.3 mil. Because this, like I said, this method, like, over time, I think the odds are, dude, there's no way. There's no way. We got the same one. The upside on this is crazy. The upside on this is crazy, bro. The upside on this method is absolutely absurd. That's the thing about this one. You can test your luck, and and when you're when you're on, it is nuts. Two purples, two purples. We we've opened 50k and we've already gotten like 200k back. Bro, there's actually no way. We're getting the same one. Bro. Dude, I just made like 300k in like in like two minutes. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. I pulled a blue and three purples. That's because I want to maximize my profit and, and minimize my risk too. And by doing that, we own the sets. And we're going to do the green ones. Do them as many green ones as we can and uh put them into the put them into the blue ones after because uh once you do the blue ones the blue ones do have upside and you you make more coins if you're to quick sell the blue ones after trading them up uh based off on how much the quick they quick sell for the green ones and the gray ones so always quick always trade them trade them up through the sets as much as you possibly can and there's some blue ones that do go for like 40 50k so 
you, you're always giving yourself a chance to make extra coins. And, and I think that's really important when you're doing these methods a lot because the last time I did it, I definitely lost like 50 K open, like a hundred, a uh, hundred K worth. And that's probably a good one. Plus three man plus two zone. That's oh my God. That's why you put them into the sets. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> you cannot be real. This cannot be real, bro. This cannot be real. All right, so something I wanted to let you guys all know um, before I finish this video, because I want to get, get it out as fast as possible. But investing in these 83s, um, I've already invested in a bunch. They are pretty cheap. They're at like 14.5K right now. So I think buying them isn't bad. Um, and you can obviously always lazy sell them if you buy them for snipe them for 14.5 you can already lazy sell them for like 18k so you can just make profit off of that but i think training will go up tomorrow especially if ltds are out and lts haven't been announced yet and justin jefferson still hasn't technically been announced but by the time you guys watch this um i mean you'll see on twitter well, what's going on with my focus hello whatever you'll see on twitter that um at seven o'clock if the ltds are out and if ltds are out i would a thousand percent buy these up if not maybe just buy a few for now maybe if you have like a mill just spend like 100k uh just try to snipe like maybe like like seven eight nine ten cards for 14.5 or less and then after the fact if ltds come out and they're still on 14.5k you can go literally all in and i don't think that's a bad idea because people are going to do the rules people are going to want the new javon holland people are going to want the new justin jefferson so uh yeah that's just another tip 83 overalls is the cheapest training so 83 overalls for 14.5 or less i think even less than 15k is fine too all right boys we just got trevor lawrence i'm gonna be opening this I i'm hyped because desmond ritter is out and we got des Desmond, Trevor Lawrence in for promoting him right to the starter. And we're probably going to put quick draw on him because I haven't tried quick draw out with any quarterback yet. So I'm excited. You know, looking back, we never should have taken Desmond Ritter. I regretted it a few hours after. And his time has come. It will no longer be of use to us. It was good memories. Here we go. All right. We get two free 82 Madden players. All right, well, we will take it. We're gonna probably just build two team builders from it. Just got a six, seven K track. Ladies on for 78 K, that's a dub. Dude, look at this beautiful card. This is me my wide receiver one right there. All right, so to give some context for this next clip, I just wanted to show you guys what I did. So as you'll see, I quick sold two 83s for about 1300 training. And from that, I went in and I rolled the 74 pluses. Keep in mind, prices changed. This was like two days ago. And I rolled the 74 pluses and you would get about 10 of them just from the 74. And the 74s guarantee sell for over 2000 coins at least to right at least during that time and i think they still do right now by the time you guys are watching this video 78 sell for minimum 3000 coins but i like to hold on to the 78s and build team builders with them so build the 80 overall elites and then build team builders with that and then obviously you have the upside to pull 89s 86s and then 82s if you pull an 82 within the 10 packs you're 100 like guaranteed profit because the 82s were selling at that time for like 18 5 uh 18 that's 500 coins so just from that that's like half over half the coins back and then every single pack the most you can even lose is 1000 coins each so you're, you're profiting just off an 82 and then obviously like i said you have the upside to pull an 89 86 keep in mind that you do have to get a little bit lucky but the odds are in your favor as long as the market and the prices are at certain amounts like i said if the 74s are you can sell them for like 2.5k then you're really only losing like the pain especially since training's down right now you're really only losing like a few hundred coins a pack and then if you pull that 89 86 you're making absolute bank so yeah that's the context and this did work for me i made a decent amount of coins too this so this is another way to make coins again because that's like 34k like a little bit less than 34k yt 933 
and that's how we make profit boys let's go Gavin you got you got another coin making method I might make this one for tomorrow though I might make this all right I hope you guys enjoy the video make sure to smash the like button and comment how many coins you guys have on your no money spent accounts peace out